Having introduced Carnot maps with two and three variables in my previous video, let's take a look at some Carnot maps with four variables. Here's a truth table with four variables and a Carnot map to match. Input values for A and B have been written across the top. Notice that each pair of bits differs from the previous pair or the next pair by only one bit. Similarly, the input values of C and D have been written down the side as row labels, and all of the possible combinations of C and D have been covered here. Finally, we've placed the output values of the truth table into the Carnot map using the input values A, B, C and D as coordinates. So what does this Carnot map tell us? We can see we have two groups of ones here. The vertical group always corresponds to a value of 1 for input A, so this group represents A. This group also always corresponds to a value of 1 for input B, so this group represents A and B. The horizontal group, on the other hand, always corresponds to a value of 0 for input C, so this group represents not C. These 1s also correspond to an input value of 1 for D, so this group also corresponds to D, so we have not C and D. The two groups are related by the OR operator, so here's our final expression. Here's another example. This time we've got two groups of 1s. One of the groups is using the table wrapping rule. For our first group, we can see that where there are 1s, the input value of A is always 0. So these represent not A. Furthermore, the value of C is always 0. So they represent not C. And finally, where there are 1s, the input value of D is always 1. So this group corresponds to D. This group is therefore not A and not C and D. Now let's take a look at the other group. Where there are 1s, the value of A is always 1. Where there are 1s, the value of D is always 0, so we have not D. So this second group corresponds to A and not D, giving us an overall expression as shown here. In this example, we have a lot of 1s. We may be tempted to make a group out of these 12 1s, but remember, a group can only contain 1, 2, 4, 8, in other words, 2 to the power n 1s. So this group is not valid. We may be tempted to say, well, there's a group of 8. But in order to do this, we would end up having to create three more groups, giving us a total of four groups. One of our rules states that there must be as few groups as possible. But if we look more carefully, we can see we've got a group of eight ones here by applying the table wrapping rule. This means we just need two more groups of eight, which overlap each other, as shown here. Now we have a total of three groups. Let's take a look at these groups one at a time. This group represents not D. You can see that the value of input D is always 0 when there's a 1, but this group is independent of the values of all of the other inputs. This group, on the other hand, is always the opposite of A, so this group represents not A. It's independent of all of the other inputs. And in this final group, you can see that all of the 1s correspond to an input value for B of 1. So this group represents B. Now because these are three separate groups, we relate them using the OR operator. So our final expression is not D or not A or B. You can see then for Carnot maps with four variables, the same rules apply as do for Carnot maps with two and three variables.